there is a great restaurant boom right now in the Philippines. Um, competition is absolutely fierce in the city centers. I would say that many of my students who've uh, set up in the provincial areas uh, have a better chance of uh, competing. Uh, people are a little bit more forgiving, uh, prices are inexpensive, especially uh, rentals. Uh, I think that's the one thing that kills the restaurant most is, you know, when you have very high fixed, uh, fixed uh, expenses, uh, fixed costs, it's, it's really going to hit on you really hard. Ten years ago, rentals were cheaper, labor was cheaper, so it was quite uh, easy to, to set up uh, a restaurant. Now, we're looking at a business that has to be driven. It doesn't, it, you open a restaurant not because, well, partly because of passion, but when you open a restaurant, you got to run it like a business. Basically, uh, there should be certain frills that can be given in, term, in terms of tax incentives. Um, for a restaurant to open, the, the crucial point would be the first year of operation. You'd already know whether you're going to make it or not. And um, if, if there are good incentives, because this is food, this is sustenance, if there are good incentives given by the government in terms of tax breaks or what, then it would be most welcome because that would help, help the food industry as a whole blossom. It uh, just evolved because um, many students sought us out so that they could apprentice, and we had to think of a way to we had to think of a way to uh, to create a more organized and more systematic form of uh, of uh, exchange uh, of learning exchange, knowledge exchange that we could pass on. To the students so we decided to set up uh, a proper training center set up by chefs um, particular trends i would say would be a lot to do with technique like souffles there will be souffles everything souffles souffled omelets souffles souffled breads this will all be part of uh a growing trend that that uh, is coming out. Um, Homegrown food ideas, especially for middle middle of the road or quick service restaurants, will will be in vogue because of uh, it's very expensive to uh, buy franchises. So a lot of these uh, concepts will be developed. I think there's there's really not much difference from what was the perception 20 years ago. Um, the the chef is still a can come up to a celebrity form of status when the, the restaurant becomes popular, or because of him or her, the restaurant has become popular. Uh, the the chef is still considered as the artist. Uh, and uh, people go because they want to sample the, the food and the methods of the chef. In this job position, the older you get, the better you become if you are willing to completely and totally upgrade yourself every, every time there's a need to upgrade, then do it. Upgrade yourself so you don't get left behind. Um, also, uh, one must not forget the management skills. Being a chef is not only being cooking well, because many cooks can cook well. Being a chef is a leader. You have to be an administrator. You have to learn how to take care of your people and you have to learn how to control the costs and how to make money for the business you are in.